Hello, this is Aaron Koning from Safe Software's Professional Services team, and in this brief screencast, I'm going to show you how FME can be used to efficiently bring civil 3D data into your geographic information system. Here we see an example of civil 3D data containing common layers, including pipes. If we click on a pipe, we can see the attributes for that pipe, including the material coefficients, pipe diameters, and the elevation. Here is an example of the GIS output that we will be producing with FME. Again, looking at the pipe layer, we can see the material coefficients as well as some attributes that weren't present in the Civil 3D file, such as crown and invert elevations. The GIS output was created using this FME workflow, which transforms Civil 3D data into a geodatabase. Here we read in each Civil 3D layer. In the middle section, we transform the data, and here we write out each layer to a geodatabase. Let's take a closer look at the workflow for converting the pipe layer. FME enables you to import the rich object data from the Civil 3D file into your GIS. However, some attributes that are important when dealing with pipe information are not stored in the Civil 3D file. Fortunately, they can be calculated using FME. In this case, the invert elevation, crown elevation, and slope percent are calculated using the pipe center line elevation and the pipe diameter. As you've seen here, FME's ability to import not only line data, but also the spatial components and object data from Civil 3D datasets ensures that you can keep your GIS accurate and up to date with the drawings you receive from contractors. Additionally, FME's automated process saves you large amounts of time by eliminating manual import efforts, so your team can focus on other critical tasks. To learn more, visit www.safe.com slash civil 3D or contact your account manager for a free personalized web demo today by emailing sales at safe.com.